Hi folks, check this out. I don't know how many of you guys rode these. I think there was one when I was a kid growing up in front of a Woolworths down in Emerson, New Jersey. So where'd you get this thing, Charlie? What's an auction? Oh, that auction we were yes. the first weekend of, no, yeah. the second weekend of May. Yeah. It is cool. Oh, the uh, Amish golf cart. Yes. Well, I was there last year. Well, Charlie and I were there last year. I bought that golf cart. And unfortunately, I didn't get it on video. But um, you guys remember, it didn't run. But Charlie got himself a couple of Amish guys. So as Charlie was riding the golf cart toward his truck, he had two Amish guys pushing, wearing the um, wearing the stuff Amish folks full, full thing, yeah. Amish folks wear. You know, the hat and yep. the the denim jackets, the long jackets and the baggy pants and all. So I mean, that would have made a great video. Everybody would have cracked up. I was going to call it an Amish powered golf cart, you know, because literally the Amish guys were pushing it. So these golf carts, this was part of that that deal. Um, we used this at the Drag Lodge uh, reunions because the, there's 300 acres there. This wow. particular one here I bought with no engine. I bought another one that was broken in half that had a good engine. And the third one I took the seats in the cab and the roof off of and the dump body. So this was made out of three of them. My grandson uses it. Now this is a, a club? Yami. A Yami. Now, was this part of that Palisades deal? Was uh, I think the it was. guy up in Stormville. I, th I think it was um, because the, the the motor come out of the the one that was busted in half. That one was the one they used around the shop. Of course, they defeated the everything. Everything on it, yeah. I mean, it's uh, so okay. So that's where this one came from, yep. and this guy was part of that deal too. The same fellow, but I don't know where this one came from. Obviously, a golf course someplace because I actually have the mesh doors for this that I've never used well this one could be almost in that that commercial yeah. for uh, boy do I need a vacation yeah boy do I need a vacation where where the guy's driving this thing and and the guys oh, everybody's hitting golf balls at him and then somebody named Gary pelts him with uh, with the actual club on the uh, the twirly bird are there any dates or anything I mean this got to be never found anything on it no the coin the coin box has been removed and there's just a switch to turn it on and off. You can see the box is there, but the mechanism is all gone. Yeah, they probably paint it over. I really wish I had a place to put this inside. I kind of like to do it over, but we'll see. Yeah. You know what? The Atom, putting the Atom on stuff. Yes. I think that was big at the end of oh, the yeah. 50s, oh, right? Absolutely. Look at this. Charlie has his own rail gate. Now, your property has some interesting history as we just quickly take a look back here so tell me tell me about this gully this was a right away from the Poughkeepsie and Connecticut Railroad ran through here at the turn of the century and before wow I think it was uh, built like 18 1890 maybe right around that, that era. And Pleasant Valley had two railroads, the, the Poughkeepsie and Eastern, and this is the Poughkeepsie and Connecticut. And the two owners couldn't get together on sharing the track and everything. So this one came along after the Poughkeepsie and Eastern, ran for about 20 years. And then one big railroad come in, the uh, Central New England, later the New Haven, came in and they bought everything because if they bought everything, they got the railroad bridge. Oh, the one over um, yes, the Poughkeepsie. They, they bought them all up, and that because they wanted they wanted the railroad bridge. Wow. So, could you imagine what it took to dig this by hand? Yeah. I mean, they probably blasted and I'm did sure. all kinds of yeah. crazy stuff because that's where that tree is over there. That's all. That's all rock. All rock. Yeah. I mean, you know, iron men and wooden ships, eh? Sure. So that that is that is cool. Charlie also, should they ever put the tracks back down? <laughs> Check this out. He's got his own little rail cart. Now this is, what do they call it, a Fairmont? Fairmont Railway Motors track inspection car. He's even sitting on rails. Yeah, look at that. He's got his, uh, his miniature gauge railroad there, four foot or whatever they are, five foot. 
No, it's standard gauge. No, no, but I mean from a length. Oh yeah. From um, now it's a water cooled. Yes. And it's a condenser. It's not a pressurized system. And it's um, two cycle. Two cycle. Yeah. Single single cylinder. Single cylinder. You have to reverse it to go backwards with it. So to go backwards, you just mess with the with yeah. the the spark timing. Yes. So that. And then, and then you could just restart it and go backwards to go. What you got to do is reset the timing uh, and reset the throttle with these two levers. This is the timing lever and this is the uh, the brake lever. And doing that, you have to wait till the last pop. Then um, when it kind of kicks backwards, you just turn it off. Wait till the last pop. Turn it back on. You move the lever. Turn it back on, and it'll it'll start in the other direction. That, that is beyond cool. Now, in the day, when you first put it on the truck, I mean, it would go either way, right? Forward or backwards. Yes, yes. But when you first put it on the track, you would kind of be looking at it, that this was the front. Yep. And you said that there would be basically a hood covering the yep. engine. That's where you sat. And you would put your butt here, mm -hmm. your feet here, and you'd mess with the levers and mm -hmm. drive it around. So this was just for inspection. Well, I mean, you couldn't carry a lot of tools on it. Track inspection, minor work, and Western Union also used them to uh, inspect their, uh, their uh, telegraph lines and do some minor repairs. I guess this uh, this could almost be like the first UPS truck, right? Yeah. You just put everything on there, and, and you know, you uh, you open it wide open and take it yeah. to where it needs to go. So, uh, twenty five cent a gallon. Believe it or not, I remember that uh, paying that. that was <laughs> Does around, that make me old? That was around probably nineteen sixty nine or nineteen seventy, because when I worked at the Sunoco station in seventy one, I think this Sino the two hundred was up to. 29.9. I might be wrong about that. Yeah, I I remember. Well, I grew up a little bit in New Jersey, so it was a little cheaper down there. Mm -hmm. And I I remember as a kid, 19.9. It was mm -hmm. like 19.9 forever and ever mm -hmm. and ever. And then when I first started driving, I remember it was in the 20s. And mm -hmm. then went up to the 40s. It mm -hmm. went from like 29.9 to you know mm -hmm. to 39.9 to 49.9. And I remember then it was 99.9 yeah. forever because they had to redo the pumps to uh, to move it up from there. So. Um, and now, believe it or not, at, uh, I don't know what people are paying, but at about two and a quarter a gallon, yeah. it's actually cheaper than it used to be from an inflation point of view yeah. than, when, yeah. than when we were kids. If you start saying that money doubles yeah. every 10 years, so, you know, you go from 40 to 80 mm -hmm. to 160 to 320, mm -hmm. you know. Real quick. It's, yeah. So, in those 10 years, it really changes. Anyway... Charlie, thanks for a tour. You got quite the little museum here, Thank including you. the property. That SO sign was covering up a septic tank. Oh, that SO sign? Yeah. Wow. And a couple of gas pumps. Yep. Flying A extra. I hope these will be restored at some point. We'll see. Yeah, you know, it just. Uh, it's a shame seeing them sit like this. Yeah, but they probably would be thrown away otherwise, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, they'd be they'd be dead otherwise. So, I mean, yeah, they're, they're not in the greatest situation here, but at least they're here and intact, yep. and people aren't breaking the glass on yep. them and, you know, like prying the signs off of them, right? too, take that off. Right, that... I just like looking at it. This... I mean, people, uh, this kind of stuff, people love to, yes. to take that kind of detail off oh, or yeah. the glass. Anyway, folks, I want to thank you all for watching and commenting and subscribing. Remember to keep your feet down, your heads up. Please get out there and enjoy all your days. Bye now, folks.